Hi, welcome to the first training to navigate the digital campus of the Kenya Methodist University. And this brief tutorial will just take you through navigating how to log in up to navigating the digital campus. Further tutorials will be there to help you go through navigating a course and other tasks and functionalities that you can perform on the digital campus. The digital campus is a name that we have adopted for uh, the Canvas Learning Management System that we implemented at the Kenya Methodist University in 2016. So for you to be able to access the digital campus at Kenya Methodist University, you first have to type in virtual.kemo.ac.ke uh, in your web ad uh, address bar of your web browser. And once you press the enter key, the page that loads is what you are seeing on your screen right now. You are required to type in your login ID, which for a faculty member would be their email address. And in my case, I will type in my email address. But for a student, it will be their registration number, the stroke being replaced with a dash. And for example, if I have a registration number of bus-1-1234-1 stroke 2019, the login ID would be bus-1 dash one two three four dash two uh, dash twenty nineteen so I have a password uh, which I will type in and once I'm in it I can click on the login button once I click on the login button the first link that uh, or the first page that loads is a dashboard and the dashboard is uh, what you can actually see of all the activities of your uh, of your digital campus will be displayed at this point. But let me briefly describe uh, what you get to see there. You have a left panel, you have a middle section, and you also have the right section. So on the left panel, the left panel has various icons. We'll, we'll, we'll start off with the account. Any changes that you want to make to your account from your password to your profile picture to adding an e-portfolio about yourself, that can be done in the account section. Admin is an icon that might not appear in everyone's, uh, might not appear in everybody's dashboard. This will only appear if you are a chair of department, an exam officer, or an academic coordinator within that particular department. Then you have the dashboard. This is what will be common for everyone, and it's the first. Uh, the, it's the one that is actually activated once you log into the digital campus. And you also have courses. Courses will allow you to get to see the courses that you are undertaking or teaching in that particular trimester. And we also have a link called All Courses, which will now display all the courses that you have undertaken for the entire period that you have been on the digital campus. Would you want to reduce the clutter on your dashboard with the number of courses? On the left side of every course title, you will get to see a star which is inactivated. It's gray in color. If you click on it, you can, like for example, I have Odell, which is the one that is activated and it is actually on my dashboard. If I do not want to see it on my dashboard, I can click on it so that I do not have it. Now the color changes from gold back to gray. So right now the only courses that will be displayed on my dashboard are the Management Information Systems course and the Research Methods course. Then I have the calendar. The calendar allows me to schedule various activities within the week or within the month for the various courses that I'm teaching. And one of the very powerful tools for communication with our students is the inbox. The inbox allows you to get to email your students. On the right side here is an icon for composing a new message, which allows you to pick a course that you want to send uh, maybe a particular participant to an email. So I can pick on, let's say, research methods, and I can pick on either the teacher or the student. And I can pick a student, maybe someone, and I can type in a, a, a subject, for example, hi, and put in a message. Would I want to attach a particular document? 
I will click on add attachment and it will get to show me the various things of the directory from my computer of which I can be able to add an item and attach it to this particular file and it will be sent to this particular person in my class and once I'm done with that I can click on the send button and on that particular student's inbox they will get to see that in the listing on the left side of this particular facility. I'll go back to the dashboard and the dashboard allows me to now uh, get to see the global announcements uh, at the top and if you are done reading those global announcements you can always click on the close button for each of the ones that you have uh, that have been listed down and once you scroll down the dashboard you will notice a tile representing each of the courses that I as a lecturer am teaching or you as a lecturer you're teaching. On the top right corner you will get to see the activities that you are yet to be done and this is based on the schedule or activities that you schedule within your courses and uh, below that you have the coming up what needs yet or what is yet to be done you'll also get a listing of that on the right side so uh, briefly just to get into the courses when you click on the dashboard uh, let me briefly describe how the tiles within the dashboard at the Kenya Methodist University are created each tile represents a particular course and you will have the course code uh, the course title sorry at the top you'll have the course code right below it and the trimester in which it's being offered then you have a number of items that are displayed here this icon that you see here of a loudspeaker means that there is an announcement that was posted by the lecturer the chat icon here uh, means that there's a discussion that's ongoing and the a means that there is an assignment for that particular course so uh, we will look at navigating a course in the next tutorial. Before I end this particular tutorial, there are two views on the dashboard. There's a, dash, there's a view of you uh, getting to see each of the courses that you are teaching and you can click on the toggle button over here and this is able to show you or display to you the activities, the recent activities of the courses that you have been undertaking. Uh, below the dashboard there is a link to our help desk and there is also a link to the Kenya Methodist University website. So I will stop uh, at that for the brief tutorial on navigating the digital campus. Thank you.